In this video, we will review how to create a chart. To create a chart or graph, select the cells for the chart, click the Insert tab, and then notice the options in the Charts group. You have a new option in Excel 2013 called Recommended Charts. You can use one of those if you would like. Or you can select a type of chart. In this example, we want a column chart, and we want it to be a 3D clustered column. You can resize the chart and position it accordingly. To add an additional data series to a chart, add the data to your table. Click on the chart, click the Chart Tools Design tab. In the Data group, click on Select Data, and then reselect the data for the chart to include the additional data series, and then click OK. To switch between rows and columns in your source data, select the chart, click the Chart Tools Design tab, and then click on the Switch Row and Column button in the data group. Notice how the regions are across the x-axis on this one. If we switch it, they are on the y-axis and your months are on the x-axis. To use Quick Analysis, select the data, and then quick, excuse me, click on the Quick Analysis button, and then you can make your selection. Notice that we have some conditional formatting options. You can click on those, or you have options for charts, totals, if you wanted to see a sum, you can add a total row to it, tables, and then spark lines. And all of these features we have probably already reviewed most of these, but this is here for convenience so that you can get to these options very quickly. And this concludes the review for creating a chart.